Hi guys and welcome back. Um, we were researching Gary's bike last week because we still got bits of oil uh, coming up the bottom and we realized that, don't get me wrong, there was kind of, we, these gaskets were needed because there were drips on both sides. But in the long run, we noticed that the oil was coming out of the, the sump, the actual kind of full system. Um, and I'm trying to find some for you. It's wet on one side. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, this side's quite wet. You can see how wet it is there, you see? Um, so that bit, look, that bit's very wet. So yeah, so actually we have got a new uh, sump gasket which we need to put on, but it's not easy. It's not quick, it's not easy. The bike needs to be cool. And then the whole exhaust needs to come off. Again, not quick and not easy. And then the um, drain the oil, catch the oil because it's quite fresh because we're going to pull it back in. And then we'll change the sump gasket. We've got a brand new one. We've got an OEM one. Uh, we're noticing that when we use the cheaper parts on here, the gaskets, they're not working. I mean, gasket paper is gasket paper. It should be fine. But when they drill the hole slightly out, it puts a funny kink on the gasket paper and stops it seating. So. That's what's been happening. Uh, issues we might uh, go into, we might struggle to get the exhaust off. That is uh, common at times. I'm hoping that while it's warm, that I'll be able to um, at least just loosen them or I'll try this one first and we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna put any major force. It's gonna be gentle on all of them. They need to turn first and then uh, we will once they all turn a little bit, we'll, we'll remove them all. Has to be um, slow. If they get seized or don't turn or they round off, you're screwed. It's finished. So uh, we don't want that. Uh, second task for today is um, I spoke to the guys last week right after filming. Sent them pictures of the black box and the uh, ECU, which is on top of the uh, throttle body and they said no they said we've never seen that one we can't do it we can't be done and then two days ago so four or five days later they messaged me and said look we've been looking into your ecu we think that we can that they said we've actually purchased the attachment and, and basically we're curious so uh so please so pay us the 100 pounds send it off to us and we will attempt to do it uh they i think these guys are genuine i'd be a bit wary Otherwise, I'd be thinking, well, hang on, why am I paying £100 for the possibility of getting it done? But I just think that every communication we've had, they've been really genuine. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to send it off to them and hope they take it off. They said I have to remove that black box because if that black box is on when I put it back on, it will be re-immobilized. So they said disconnect the black box from the ignition barrel and from the, the rest of the bodywork. Otherwise, the immobilizer comes back. And they'll send it to me with no immobilizer, they think. And then the bike should go back to priming and sparking. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I've got to get the throttle body off today. So we've got two tasks. To be fair, no, actually, this task does need to be done today. So that we can get it MOT'd um, next Saturday. And then this task also does need to be done today. So it might be a busy day overall. To make it easy and simple. You don't have to have the best tools, you don't have to have the best of anything, you know? Or the best star coat. The best sous chef. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. <laughs> Probably that is going to be next week. All right, guys, just to catch you up, what you're seeing is um, partnered working, really. Gary's at the back swing out the brake. Uh, I'm taking off the, uh, the header um, bolts. Yeah, as, as you know, these things can be a nightmare, not just on this bike, on any bike. So getting them out every now and again is really important. If you haven't turned your header bolts for a few, bolts for a few years, I strongly suggest you get out there, put a, you know, get a turn in there and... Um, it wouldn't hurt to put a bit of WD or something similar. It will burn when you start the bike up, but um, it will burn off quite quickly. But either way, I would get them uh, loosened up. 
just to make sure they're still turning. Otherwise they can corrode quite badly. So I've got two bolts here that are not stuck, but I just can't get to them. I don't want to mess around with slightly smaller Allen keys because I don't want to round it off. That setup is too big, so I'm going to look for a smaller one that I can put onto a smaller ratchet. Here. Can I pull? Yeah, because we're changing it all in. Oh, they are looking bad, mate. Yeah? Here. That's going to be a pain. All of it. All of it. And in here and in here. Right, Gary, drink. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. It is an interesting, yeah. Well, I guess it's big and bulky, isn't it? You know what you needed? You needed some of that Dr. Downpipe stuff now. What is that? Dr. Downpipe, it gives it a good clean, goes back to a shine. Okay, that was good quick maths. <laughs> Make sure you're doing it the right way. Right tight, left loose. Unless you're... Upside down. <laughs> this is where you hear that noise. Snap. Okay, let's see. All right, so don't, so just hang on. Yeah. Yeah, go. On. Just nice and gentle. So what way are you going? I'm going towards you. Am I right? From this way? I'm going that way. Yeah. That's a funny noise. <laughs> the amount of times Gary can't turn something and then I have to do it with my strength, even though he's a boxer. <laughs> oh, wait. Something didn't look right. Get a bit of ratchet, that one's rubbish. Wait, Where's the other one? There's something about an oil drop that's really uh, quite cool. It's not coming out glittery, which is good. I mean, this engine's great anyway, isn't it? It's a very good engine, yeah. I saw a nice Suzuki S3 the other day. Nice shape. You should try one. When Gary comes back, we've agreed that we're going to go to the motorcycle warehouse or somewhere and have a look at some bikes. So we want the majority out, but ultimately we're taking down yeah. The sump, so when we open it, it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be really gunky. The good thing about that is that's a really thorough oil change if you, because the gunk is thick, it's like mud, yeah. so we can clean it all out fully, and you'll always only have fresh oil going through this bike from then on. You know, a good um, oil flush would normally do all of that. So just to show you what we're actually doing, Gary, where's the bung? Throw the bung back in. You're leaking. All over my pristine floor. What we're actually doing is that we're taking this sump off here um, to put on a new gasket. Gasket? Oh. It looks it looks right to me. This is this side, isn't it? Is it? One, two, three. It's hard to tell. Um, it looks about the right shape. I think it's probably it. Yeah, it, it's meant to be the right one. So these two off, Gary. Those are like 16s. <laughs> You're getting better at guessing. And then um, it's all of these 10s, but we have to be uh, really gentle. Am I going to ask you help to do those? Yeah. Hey, look at that. 
Let's have a little look. Uh, this is where you find all the sludge. You know what? It's pretty clean. We change very quite often. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. You don't have a chance to, like, you can have such a, such a word, sludge it up, slush up, slush up. So what takes the most time is the um, gasket cleaning. Um, it had gone so hard and solid that it uh, it was a pain to clean. So Gary's still working on that. Using brake cleaner helps. Brake cleaner kind of softens it all up and loosens it all. Um, but you still have to scrape it really gently without nicking, nipping the um, the uh, metal. You don't want any notches in there, otherwise it won't seal. Uh, that's what Gary's working on. I was just messing over here with a bit of um, the turtle wax uh, Renew and refresh. There was this kind of misting here. It was all down here And I think I've cut most of it away But I think eventually I'll cut all of these panels properly like this one's quite bad look So I'll cut it all fully and then um, touch up any any areas like this with black before a, a good layer of wax. I think in the end, if this ever runs, it's gonna be a really good looking bike. Okay, have a look okay so uh, gasket all done properly, all nice. We really spent a lot of time cleaning the uh, original gasket off because there's no point doing this if you're not going to. Uh, clean the downpipes a touch, just because we can. And uh, I'm gonna finish it off tomorrow. So it's looking good. Brand new rear tire. I don't know if I showed you that. Brand new rear tire. Um, rear, rear brake pads done. Feel good. Yep. Uh, front brake pads to go on, but they're not needed for MOT, just for good practice. And um, that's it. So tomorrow I'll, I'll finish the oil cooler. I'll get the exhaust back on and the, um, I'll get uh, the oil back in, of course. And yeah, cool. And then on Saturday, we'll get it an MOT and we'll go from there really well. That's it, you'll be back on the road for a year, Gary. Ready to terrorize the nation again. Never. Never.